Hello friends, welcome to the channel Happy Learning Learn SQL. In this series, today we will learn how to draw a table, a column, a database, a constraint or indexes. We will learn in short the drop commands of the SQL with SQL providers. Why do we use drop commands? Because sometimes if you have created a table which is not required in future or if you have created an index which has degraded your performance later on when the data is huge and you have lots of joins in your tables and if you have any kind of constraint applied accidentally intentionally or unintentionally then how can we drop that and if there is a table which is having different kind of columns which are not relevant uh, for now means you have created in your history and that are not relevant for now so you want to just uh, remove that columns from your table then you can use the drop statement so SQL give this provision to clean and optimize the database and bet for better readability so let's start so here is a syntax of drop column if you have a, a table which which is having different number of columns and a few columns which are not required for now you can drop that column by using the syntax alter table table name drop column column name table name is the name of the your table whatever your table is and column names are the name of the column which you want to drop like sql command if we will execute it in it will be like alter table tbl user drop column location id here tbl user is the table name and column name is the location id it is not case sensitive you can put it this command into uppercase you can put this command into lowercase also it is not going to affect your result whatever the result you will get you will be able to drop the columns from this table so it is not going to be affected by your case sensitivity if you put semicolon at the end of the statement it will work if you are not putting it will also work sometimes for better performance and optimization of your query we use indexes but these indexes can give you trouble when you have lots of data and lots of indexes on your table then it will delay the result of your select query. So at that time you need to drop a few indexes which you have created. So here is the syntax. First syntax is how you will create that. Create unique index. This is the example of unique index. Then index name on TBL user is the name of the table and on which column you are trying to put it, that column name. Then drop statement, drop index, index, is the abbreviation which you need to put then table name dot index name and for the command drop index table name dot index name see this index name is u i d x underscore p i d is the index which you have created see the first statement of the create and this is the drop statement same for the constraints here is the syntax alter table table name drop constraint constraint name and then the example is alter table person person is the name of the table and drop constraint whatever the name of the constraint it could be you can put it over here and execute it it will drop your constraint we have discussed all about the constraint in our previous video i'll put my link in description box for uh, last previous a few videos you can go through that and learn Then we'll talk about the drop table. Suppose you are working with the SQL and you have created a loss of table. Later on, on different stages of your project, you realize that these tables are not important for you and these are not relevant, not in use for future. So you want to drop the, all those tables. So how you can do it? You can use this statement using drop table and table name. What it will do, it will just drop all the tables which you will give in this table name and you will wave off all your data all your indexes and all your constraints which are related with this table means this table will vanish from your database with all its respective related data so this is the command of drop table table name and table name could be any table name which is not relevant for you for now then drop table like this we have taken example of tbl users we are dropping tbl user table over here 
SQL gave us option to drop database also. Here is a simple syntax of putting um, database name just before drop database syntax. And uh, if uh, we are uh, from the beginning creating and working over test database, DB test, so if we need to insert a command or put a command of drop database, then we have to put drop database database name. Then it is the example how you, we can work with it by using the drop statement. This is the alter statement which we can do. First statement is for drop column. Drop column will work with alter table statement, alter table table name, drop column. TBL uh, from table and phone number we have taken off and see this is the result we have taken off the phone number column from this. Mm -hmm. Next we have to work with the indexes. First we need to create the index as it was in the slide. So this is the table name. This is the column where we want to put this index over the column. And this is what the command executed successfully, completed successfully. And this is the syntax. How we'll drop any index. We have created a unique index. What are the unique indexes? We have created and we have discussed that in our previous slides, in previous chapters, in previous videos. And this is what the table name is. We just executed a create command. Let's see before dropping this command whether this index has been created over the table or not. So we have a shortcut for that to view the table structure old plus F1. Just select the table name and press old plus F1 alt alternate key plus F1 key. You would be able to see the table structure and related things with the table. See this is the index which we have created the same name with the index key is the column name. We want to drop it and we executed it. We won't be able to see any change in the table structure with data or the column. Just we have removed the index. Again, we want to check it using all plus F1 statement and see we have lost our index because we have dropped that. So go back to the table structure. We don't have put any kind of data into it because it was for drop experiment. So this is the uh, statement for drop database. We are not going to execute it for now. This is for drop table, Dr drop table, table name, any table name which you want to drop. Suppose I'm, if I'm working with TBL user, then I have to give TBL user. I want to drop it. See, this is the table only with no data right now. I have executed this statement means this statement has clear all the structure all the data, all the indexes and everything related with this table. And if you'll execute the select statement, you will get invalid object name and then after table name. If you re-execute this statement, then SQL can provide you an option. You cannot drop this because either you don't have permission or the object does not exist. Means this is not necessarily to um, existence of your uh, this object in your database or it could be like in big organization you, you are not the authorized person so this is the message kind of hint why you are unable to drop this so that's all for today hope you liked our practical video of dropping thank you keep watching keep learning and keep moving forward if you are liking our channel and content please subscribe it press the bell icon like share and subscribe and comment thank you very much have a nice day